Alright, enough of that. Welcome to my channel and another installment of my almost decade long series of building my series of videos. Seven years ago, I built a Delta 3D printer which had some big issues with print quality due to backlash, slop, poor rigidity, etc. It was, however, a great learning experience. I had the opportunity at a previous job to use a 3D printer with a 300mm cubed workspace and it blew me away, the size and the quality of the parts that you could make. So, skip ahead to today, this new printer is much improved and much larger than my previous. I have nicknamed it BFP, Big F Printer. I went through several iterations and made prototypes as I went along to double check my design and make sure it would all work as expected. The frame is built from 12 500mm long 2020 aluminium extrusions. The gantry resides tidily within the frame so that the whole machine can be enclosed. The z-axis is supported from two sides with dual lead screws. And finally the x and y axes are in a core xy configuration. I purchased a 500 watt silicon heater for the heated bed. I also purchased an E3D Hemera which I added a print cooling fan to and mounted a custom PCB that I made which just tidies up the wiring a little bit. I got the old CNC router out of storage to machine the new gantry parts out of aluminium. Here's some tasty footage of all the lovely new fresh off the CNC aluminium parts. Onto the assembly. I whipped up these dowel on the lathe which are installed into the gantry. Some GT2 idler pulleys run on these pins that help guide the belt around the gantry. And voila, here it is. Stephen Motors installed, belts wrapped around and tightened, ready to go. All right, kind of skipped ahead a bit on this one, but here's the frame mostly assembled. Here's the SKR Pro board with four TMC2130 stepper drivers plugged in. This is the power supplies and the solid state relay which switches the power on and off to the heated bed. This is the Z platform which is built out of some 1515 extrusion and some L-shaped angle. Look at these beautiful new ball screws, complete with the sturdy BK10 bearing blocks. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Finally, the completed printer. It took me over two years and I don't want to know how much money to build, but I'm very happy with the end result and I can now print some really big parts. Here's a quick view of the OctoPrint user interface while the printer is at work. It's really helpful to get the printer's vitals and detailed information on how far it is into its print. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and please subscribe because I've got some exciting projects coming up. Mm -hmm.